Okay. There is a man I introduced to a certain extent, introduced to a woman who seemingly lives for Jesus Christ. That man knows I am a Christian. That man knows that I am serious about it. So pretty much from what I understand, that woman not really know me, but know that I am serious about God. So I think probably one of the reasons why she would even entertain that guy because of the way I am. You know, off my reputation, pretty much. So I told the guy, listen, or look, something like, she told me through another person in essence, that she can't have, she is not interested in having sex before marriage, right? And I believe I may have texted that person first and maybe told that person over the phone. Either way, probably through text, I believe I may have texted it twice and pretty much that person said okay, text okay, or whatever. So I guess that person was offended that I would tell him that, okay. Maybe even shortly after they started talking, Guess what this man started to do? Start bringing up sexual stuff. Okay. I believe it's one thing for him to go out and find women and do what he does. Fine. But if you get me to find someone for you, a man who wants to serve God, a man who is serious about God, that is wrong. That is so wrong. If someone trusts me because of the way I am and probably expect the person I may have for her to be similar to me, if you aren't similar, if you aren't serious about God, why put me into it? Why put me into it? So something happened and that man must have misunderstood or lied to the woman let me say it in this way. When you are living for Jesus Christ, you have to be very careful. Don't be so quick to believe a person who says they are Christian. You may be looking for a spouse now. You may be trying to get married. Even if a true Christian like myself, which I do make mistakes, even if a true Christian introduces you to a man or a woman, it doesn't particularly mean the man or woman you are introduced to is okay to marry, is okay to be with.
the thing I don't understand, if someone wants to be carnal, as in if someone wants to be playing around, not really serious, why do you want a Christian man or a Christian woman? I believe there are so many worldly, sinful women and men out there. Why not just be around each other and play around, have sex with each other and whatever else? Why involve yourself with a Christian woman if you don't want to live that type of life? Why would you drag a Christian person in the mud when you have opportunities, perhaps, with people who want to sin why not stick with other sinners that is probably going to be the last time i refer to someone to find a woman or a man for a person maybe that is going to be the last time because <clears throat> i don't want someone to have trust in me that my judgment is sound, that like, hey, Kevin is referring me to a woman or a man and find out that woman or man is doing bad stuff. That may be the last time for me. But you have to be watchful And I believe the Bible tells us to um, judge the fruit, look at the fruit, something like that. The fruit as in what is that person about? What is that person saying? What is that person doing? Everyone, <clears throat> I believe you really have to use good judgment when getting in a relationship with a person because you don't know where their head is at. Let me stop here.